Hi folks, just a quick video. Um, I was watching something indoors earlier that was quite interesting. Well, I, I thought it might be interesting, but it wasn't really. Um, I will add the video to the description. Um, I did leave a comment or two on the video, actually. It's basically this person who, uh, I think it's called Colin. I think the person's called Colin. Oh, I'm not totally sure. Um, but he does these videos... I think he's done quite a few, from what he was saying, on Bethel Ministry in, I think, California. And this one he was doing was he was saying that uh, Bethel Minister was saying that Jesus has sinned. Okay, I thought, well, interesting. Let's see what uh, this person's saying. It could be interesting. Yeah. But anyway, basically, this uh, he started playing the video that he's um, speaking about. And this young man in Bethel Ministry was talking about the fact that um, he had a vision. And in the vision, Jesus was crying. And come up to him, give a big hug, crying, saying, please forgive me. Please forgive me. That pastor who hurt you is like me hurting you. So please forgive me. Is like me hurting you. That's what apparently the Lord said in the vision. That's what the man said. Then this boat started saying, the one who's doing the video, oh, this man from, from Bethel, he's saying that the Lord hurt him and the Lord has to, the Lord sinned against him. No, he didn't say that at all. He did not say that in any way, shape or form. <laughs> no. Oh, insane. Insane. People basically, you know, this, this man has obviously done a few videos against Bethel in the past. Um, whether he should have been doing that? No, he shouldn't really, but okay. Um, well, basically, if, if he has an issue with Bethel, he needs to pray about it. He needs to give it to God and he needs to pray for Bethel to help Bethel to be you know, more doing things as God intends. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, give it to God. The whole point is, for all things, you point to God. You don't try and point out people's sin. That's not our job. If you've got a common sin that maybe the church has fallen into, and that, for example, that most churches have fallen into, then, okay. You want to point out a common sin that people are sinning and don't know about? But if you're... If you're pointing out that there's a church that's self-righteous and blaspheming against God all the time, uh, yeah, you know, one of one women apparently said that the Holy Spirit is blue, a bit like the genie from the Aladdin, from Aladdin. Again, is that blaspheming? No, no. <laughs> you know, if if this she's apparently a daughter of the founder of Bethel, okay. Um, but again, so what? Does it really matter if she says that? Not really. Is she right? I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, is it possible? Yes. I don't mean, is the Holy Spirit the genie from Aladdin? No. But is the Holy Spirit the same colour as the genie from Aladdin? Maybe. I don't know. Is it possible? Yeah. Is it absolute truth? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it really matters, really. Not in the scheme of things. He's, he's got a bee in his bonnet about um, Bethel. Okay. Yep. I said, I don't know. I've not really spent much time listening to Bethel. Um, Bethel Ministries and anything like that, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah. Wouldn't know about any of that, so to me, I just don't take any notice of it. No. To me, no. We all make mistakes, we all do things wrong, we all judge people sometimes in a way that's wrong. Um, yeah. There's a car parked there for some reason, I don't know what. 
Well, that's not where the car park is. I think they're parking in front of the track. If a tractor comes down, they're in the way. <laughs> it's a farm. So not a good idea to necessarily park there, but okay. Ah. Yeah, look, in the end, we all do things wrong. We all do, we all make mistakes. We all have to be forgiven. We all have to forgive. That's the reality. It is. The car's still stuck there. It seems to be in the way, but is it in the way? I don't know. I've no idea. But they're going up the track anyway, so, but they are in the way. If a tractor has to go around there, that car is in the way. But there seems to be somebody in the car as the lights are still on. So, no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to judge the person who did that video about Bethel because in the end, wasn't I doing the same? Wasn't I doing videos? You know, pointing out issues and, you know, you know being, uh, you know, pointing out the things that nobody else was talking about. You know, trying to be, you know, serving God in that way. So does he think he's serving God in that way? Maybe. Um, as I say, we, we've all made mistakes in that way. We've all served God in or tried to serve God in ways it wasn't God. That's the reality, isn't it, really? Yeah. Oh, hello, pheasant. How are you doing? I wasn't trying to hunt you, don't I? There's another one in the field as well. Cool. Okie dokie. Uh -huh. Yep. Okie dokie, pheasant, pheasant. <laughs> All right. No, that's it. In the end, the thing of it is, we're all trying to serve, and when we see things that we think are wrong, we can often jump on it. And yeah, it's not something we should jump on. That's the reality. Yeah, that's the thing. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we're going to stop trying to jump. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be led. Of course, being led is much more difficult than uh, jumping on things because being led means that we have to wait. We have to wait to see how God is leading us and wait until God gives us something to say or, yeah, which is much harder to do. Yeah, especially when you see all these things going on. Yeah, you want to say something. Yeah, you want to be a good little servant of God. The problem is, yeah, a good little servant of God is not exactly a servant of God. It's quite a decent day. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's warm, it's mild. It's still cold enough if you've got your hand out for a while, it's quite nippy. But um, it ain't too bad at all. No. But right, you take care. God bless. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.